An Eastern Kentucky lawyer accused of defrauding millions was back in court today. It may be allergy season, but for some Kentucky communities, the flu is becoming a larger problem. He had a badge, lights, even a vest. While he might have looked like an officer, how one driver figured out he wasn't the real deal. This is WQIT News at 5.30. Good evening. Spring break is over, and it looks like winter is on its way back to the bluegrass. Yeah, we are tracking some freezing temperatures, even a little snow. Let's check in now with WKYT Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey with an early look at that forecast. We're talking flakes. Yeah, snow, just actually. a flake or two out there, potentially tonight, northern Kentucky and the rest of the area. Tomorrow evening, it's the cold, though, that continues to take center stage. Multiple mornings ahead of us now with readings that will drop into the 20s. Green thumbs, it's been a rough start to the month of April. It only gets tougher from here. We've dropped into the upper 40s now, Jackson. London, warm spot across the entire region. Look at Covington, 41 degrees. Some wet uh, flakes have been flying just to the north of the downtown Covington area. 47 Lexington, gray skies over top of us. Current temperature, Lexington, 12 degrees colder than at the same point yesterday. The next round of cold is coming from the north, where it is 20 degrees colder into the Maysville area, 39 degrees into downtown Maysville, uh, right along that double A highway. Boy, it is a chilly, chilly ride where we are breaking out the wind chill map for the first time in a while. Wind chill reading Covington, Maysville, 31 degrees. Feels like it is 37 right now into Mount Sterling, and those numbers will continue to drop as we go through the evening. Something else that may be dropping. Yep, some rain. Showers beginning to pop back up on your Defender radar network coming in on that northwesterly flow. So everything from the Frankfurt area back toward Indianapolis will drop into central and eastern Kentucky over the next couple of hours. And I would not be surprised if we don't get a wet snowflake report somewhere across the region as the evening wears on. That northerly wind flow circulating around not one, not two, not four areas of low pressure. They're small, but they're out there across the Great Lakes, Ohio Valley into New England. Guys, when you see a setup like that, you know it is an anomalous pattern. We're not supposed to be seeing this type of weather into early April. We'll look at that seven-day forecast and let you know if we can find a break in all this ugly cold in just a few minutes. While many of us are more worried about allergies this season, cases of the flu are actually on the rise in some parts of the bluegrass. And one of those communities hit really hard is Anderson County. Caitlin Setner has that story. Kentuckians aren't out of the woods for the flu just yet. You didn't take the vaccine? Nope. Health officials say the flu typically peaks in January, but this year that didn't happen. We were wondering, you know, we give flu vaccines starting in, in October. How you start to see the flu usually in November and December, higher cases in January. So we just thought this season was, you know, we're going to be less than normal. Okay. The Anderson County Health Department was averaging five or six flu cases a month until now. One case after another, patients are coming in with the flu. Coughing and that The coughing congestion? Yeah. Okay. Anderson County Health Department has seen around 20 flu cases since mid-March. Around 16 of those were people that were unvaccinated. Those symptoms are lessened when you do receive your flu vaccine. Although unvaccinated, the patient we shadow doesn't have the flu. Deep breath. Another one. But APRN Kimberly Phillips suggests anyone unvaccinated consider getting one as a precaution. According to the Kentucky Department of Public Health, the flu could last well into spring. A couple of years ago in eastern Kentucky when I was practicing down there, we did have some uh, late flu cases into March and April. In Anderson County, Caitlin Setner, WKYT. And although Anderson County has a smaller population than Fayette County, they've seen a similar spike in cases of the flu. The Eastern Kentucky attorney accused of defrauding the federal government out of millions of dollars was back in court today. Investigators say that Eric C. Kahn was part of a scheme to get more than $600 million from the Social Security Administration through disability payments. Hillary Thornton is at the courtroom today. In federal court, attorney Eric Kahn was back in front of a judge today for a disciplinary hearing. The hearing lasting more than two and a half hours. Much of that time spent hearing 
from a special agent with the FBI. The purpose of today's hearing was for the prosecution, the U.S. government to prove Khan should remain in custody. In making their case, questioning an agent assigned to the case, discussing documentation of more than 140 trips outside of the United States, as well as evidence of Khan wiring money outside of the United States to as many as 10 other countries. The special agent also testifying based on reports of interviews conducted before she was assigned to the case that six former employees reported statements regarding Khan's desire to flee the country, even mentioning specific countries of Cuba and Ecuador, Ecuador being a place he spent more than two months in last year. Now, Khan's large legal team, led today by Albie Lowell out of Washington, D.C., argued all of the evidence against Khan as a flight risk is stale with nothing coming from within recent years, and that those who made the statements against him have various motives against their former employer. Now, while the prosecution labels Khan a serious flight risk and an expert at international travel, his defense argues he travels because he simply loves to see the world and has worked hard to have the means to do so. They also noted he has always come back home, even when previously being under investigation. Now, Judge Ware said he did not feel comfortable making his decision from the bench, saying he has a lot of documents and other things to take into consideration. He said it will be his top priority, but in the meantime, Eric Kahn will remain in custody. In Lexington, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. And when asked while being taken out of the courthouse if he thought the prosecution proved that he was a flight risk today, Kahn responded by saying, ask his attorney. An Ashland man thought a police officer was pulling him over on U.S. 60, but it turns out that wasn't the case. Our county-by-county county coverage at 530 begins in Boyd County. Deputies arrested 33-year-old Timothy Stoddard early yesterday morning. Stoddard reportedly stopped Joshua Brock by flashing a latex medical glove filled with glow sticks to simulate blue police lights. While Stoddard was checking his information, Brock called 911 because he smelled alcohol. He did look the part. Um, I'd say if... He hadn't have been drunk, wouldn't have been wearing a SWAT vest, maybe like a, a button up. He could have he could have pulled it off. In addition to an official looking uniform and a badge, police say Stoddard had a loaded gun and several other weapons along with vodka in his truck. Stoddard was arraigned on the charges in Boyd County District Court yesterday morning. In Mercer County, drivers can once again use a bridge after months of delays. The Kennedy Mill Bridge connecting Mercer and Garrett counties is open again. The state closed it on September 3rd to repair deteriorating steel supports. The work was originally supposed to be done by December, but work didn't start until late February. An inmate who walked away from the Blackburn Correctional Complex a week ago has been captured. Jason Arnold was apprehended yesterday in Baltimore. He was serving a 10-year sentence for convictions out of Madison County, including possession in the first degree and theft by unlawful taking. Police are warning about a phone scam that has resurfaced in Lexington. The Fayette County Sheriff's Office is reminding people that if someone claiming to be from your sheriff's office asks you to pay a fine over the phone and threatens you with arrest, it is a scam. A caller is telling victims to purchase a prepaid or reloadable money card and then prove the deputy or provide the deputy rather with the card number over the phone to settle the fine. Multiple injuries are being reported in an accident that happened this afternoon in Nicholasville. Police say four vehicles were involved. It happened on Interstate 27 in front of the Dish Barn. We don't know the extent of the injuries, but additional ambulance the ambulances did have to be called in from Lexington to help transport patients. Right now, only one lane on Nicholasville Road is open. So that's an important traffic note there. Homicide detectives in Louisville are investigating after a woman's body was found this morning. The woman was found in an alley at 31st Street and River Park Drive. Police said someone walking in the area found the body and called 911. They say the woman appeared to be 20 to 30 years old and was nude. Police say it is too early to determine how the woman died, though there were no signs of trauma. Tonight, an American icon, a hero from space, is speaking in Lexington at the Sanders Brown Center on Aging Foundation dinner. In a story I'm working on for tonight at 11, I asked Captain Jim Lovell, the commander of Apollo 13, this good question. What went through your mind when you heard the loud bang in space that signaled something had really gone wrong? Apollo 13 was just two days into its mission to the moon. A routine flip of a switch turned that mission into a fight for survival for Captain Lovell and his two fellow astronauts. We thought at first that a meteor had hit the lunar module and 
and we tried to close the hatch we, uh, in the tunnel so that much like a submariner if there's a leak in the front of it, they, they close themselves off but then we suddenly realized that no that uh, there wasn't a hit here there's something else going on yes something very very bad two of apollo 13's three oxygen tanks had exploded leaving that crew stranded without electric power and computers 200,000 miles from Earth. Tonight at 11, how a young Fayette County boy has the chance to meet his hero from space. And tonight at 11, how a young Fayette, uh, well, we had that. All right, let's go on. And if you want to submit a good question, send an email to goodquestion at wkyt.com. Crews in Oklahoma battling days of wildfires will soon get some help from the bluegrass. That story in just a few minutes here on WKYT. I'm Bill Bryant. Leading lawmakers express more optimism that a budget deal can be reached before adjournment next week. And a leading national prognosticator says the landscape for some Senate races is shifting. The bottom line is ahead. I'm Victor Puente in Lexington, where an investigation has started after mother says threatening racist messages were sent to her son, who's a student at Lexington Catholic High School. Coming up at 6, you'll hear from another mother who says her son went through a similar situation. For all your hearth and grill needs, shop BarnhillChimney.com. Right now at Papa John's, get one of our best deals ever. For just $9.99, you can get any large pizza with up to five toppings. Pile on your favorites with up to five toppings for just $9.99. Better ingredients, better pizza. PapaJohns.com. Hi, I'm Diana with Kevin's Carpets. We understand how hard it is to buy floors. That's why you need to come to the flooring experts and let Chad, Rebecca, and I help you with your flooring needs. Kevin's Carpets in Lexington and Georgetown. Why, you'd be crazy to buy flooring anyplace else. Of all the things we could do today, a world of wonder would lead the way for me and you. It's a special day. We'll touch living things, discover even more, a place to play and explore, explore. Just me and you and a whole new world. See, touch, explore together at Newport Aquarium. Window World, superior products. And professional installation at a guaranteed low price. When it comes to home remodeling. A new door can make a huge compliment to windows and siding. That's why Window World, America's largest home remodeling company. Carries patio doors, entry doors, and storm doors. All backed by our lifetime limited warranty and guaranteed low price. Whether you're trying to make a statement. Or you simply want the best value. Opportunity is knocking at Window World. Window World, simply the best doors for less. At Hair Win, we've been helping people for 125 years. If you've been injured in a life-changing accident, we can help. Contact us at HelpingKentucky.com. Hair Win. Visit HelpingKentucky.com. I love Spain. This food, the wine, the tapas. I want to stay here forever. Well, we're not in Spain. We're home. I know, but this food is so delicious. Then it's like a Spain-cation. Head to Kroger for authentic recipes, specially imported foods, and delicious meal ideas at the Taste of Spain event. Cook up fresh Purdue boneless chicken breasts for just $1.99 a pound. And sweet red, yellow, or orange bell peppers are now 10 for $10 at Kroger. Remember the feeling you got? <sighs> Improvement. When you did I something you didn't know you could do? E-M-E-N-T. Improvement. Correct. Get that feeling again with a degree from Indiana Wesleyan University. You've made so much improvement. You just might yes. surprise yourself with what you can accomplish. Visit IWULexington.com to explore our courses. IWU, anything is possible. Right now at Papa John's, select sides are just $5 each. Choose from our delicious cheese sticks, crispy chicken poppers, spicy buffalo wings, our chocolate chip cookie, and more. Choose a side for just $5 next time you order pizza at PapaJohns.com. Keep up with the latest news on WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. And the clock is ticking before negotiations for a new state budget go into overtime. Bill Bryant has that story and more in today's Bottom Line. 
Good evening. There were more meetings today, and some leading lawmakers now express optimism that some kind of last minute breakthrough could result in Kentucky getting a budget passed before next Tuesday's deadline. That's the day that lawmakers have to adjourn, even if there is no budget deal. That would result in a $70,000 a day special session. The holdup is spending on higher education. Governor Matt Bevin proposes cutting colleges and universities to shift more money over to troubled pension funds. Democrats have said no way to the cuts that would be on top of other cuts from the state in recent years. There was a long meeting involving university presidents and Governor Bevin last night, but the university presidents would not say much to reporters when they left the governor's mansion. Senate President Robert Stivers and House Speaker Greg Stumbo have agreed to interviews with me for this weekend's edition of Kentucky Newsmakers on WKYT. Political prognosticator Larry Sabato again places Kentucky as safe Republican, as Senator Rand Paul is seeking re-election. It comes despite a report that Democrat Jim Gray has loaned his campaign a million dollars and raised 750000 in contributions. And it comes as Sabato moved six Senate races toward Democrats around the country based on trends he's seeing in the presidential race. A lot of people in the bluegrass will remember John Ireson, or at least his music. Ireson wrote familiar radio and TV jingles and performed on programs on WKYT back in the day, including the June Rawlings show. He also had some acting roles. Ireson died yesterday, arrangements pending at Millward Funeral Directors in Lexington. The University of Louisville's Faculty Senate will poll its members to see if they have confidence in Dr. James Ramsey's ability to lead the school. Some are calling for Ramsey's ouster as UofL president. His contract goes until 2020. The non-binding faculty vote could come on April 20th. Bill Bryant, WKYT. Firefighters in Oklahoma continue to battle massive wildfires. Today, 11 counties are under states of emergencies because of the fires, and now they're getting some help from here in the bluegrass. This morning, the Kentucky Division of Forestry dispatched four firefighters and two fire engines to Oklahoma to assist crews trying to contain the flames. Strong winds are not only feeding the fires, but creating new ones after knocking down power lines. Now, your hour-by-hour hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. It's a windy and a cold afternoon heading into the evening across the bluegrass. Uh, hard as it is to believe, it gets colder from here over the next few days. Let's jump into it. 39 Maysville, Mason County. You're the cold spot across the entire state as of now. Many areas in the north, though, will be dropping into the 30s as we go into the latter part of the evening. 50 Southern Kentucky, wave goodbye to that as that cold air basically is dropping from north to south through the area now. A lot of cloud cover accompanying the colder weather, and we're seeing a spotty shower or two flaring back up. Southern Southeastern Kentucky. Looking at this little cell into Laurel County, that may have some small hail with it. The freezing level is close to the ground. Had a little small hail early in the day into parts of Lexington, so that's just showing you how cold that air is aloft. A gusty shower is still going to come calling for the evening hours along the north of 64 again, where a wet snow flurry. We'll try to mix in with the showers and the sprinkles. Sunsets will lose some of the cloud cover. First front is on top of the area now, and that's working its way on off to the south and southeast. Here's a little shower and thunderstorm maker into parts of Missouri. That'll graze western Kentucky. Another system across the Minneapolis area back toward Bismarck. That is right on top of the region as we go into our Friday. That means a shower chance tomorrow, and it's a colder day than what we had today. Chance for a snow flurry tomorrow evening into Saturday morning with a hard freeze. Sunday's one of those rare days we go from a hard freeze to a mild afternoon. Mid 20s to maybe mid 60s showing up. 30 ish in the morning, 44 by noontime. Then we'll cue the showers up. That'll drop the thermometers into the heart of the afternoon. How about your Friday evening? Night out on the town, 32 degrees. Up and at them early on Saturday morning. Mid 20s, just pull the covers back up. Just stay in bed for a little bit. We go into our Saturday afternoon. Upper 30s, northern Kentucky, low 40s for the rest of us. That's a high. Saturday evening, 28 degrees. Temperatures may come up a little bit on Sunday, and by the afternoon, we're likely to hit the 60s ahead of the next cold front that will give us showers and storms. Second half of Monday and early Tuesday, with one more chance of going below freezing 
into the middle of next week, 28 next Wednesday. But I keep looking beyond that, and I do see a lot of warmer weather that is ahead of us. I said last night, too, that I would be surprised before April is over if we don't make a run toward 85 degrees. <laughs> All right? All right? One extreme to the other. I say I'm glad that that's the last maybe 28 over there on the board, but I don't know about maybe. 85 we'll, coming right now. Yeah, right? We go from the frying. Okay, forget about the frying <laughs> pan on the cold day. Thanks, Chris. All right. Well, the Legends opening tonight, cold as it is, and Rob is out at the Whitaker Bank Ballpark. Hey, Rob. <laughs> Well, it's going to be a chilly night for baseball, but it all gets started here tonight at the ballpark. We'll talk about Kentucky's defensive line and Sasha Kalia Jones. Is he flying a little bit under the radar coming into John Calipari's program? It's all next. Stay with us for sports. One man with a partner who speaks limited English. Crime's greatest enemy. You are a police officer? No! I find you untrustworthy on many levels. That's right! Run! I'm coming for you! We're heroes. We're beyond heroes. There's nothing better than this. We shared a moment, me and you. We just connected. Rush Hour, new episode, CBS Tonight. Here's a fact. Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram offers you a lifetime warranty at no additional cost on every certified pre-owned vehicle. It doesn't end after 10 years, not after 100,000 miles. It's available at no extra cost. Visit BigMSuperstore.com. Kentucky Lottery Jackpot Sequence has been initiated. Prepare for current jackpot now. Saturday's Powerball Jackpot is $168 million. If you've been injured in an automobile accident, don't give a written or recorded statement until you speak to us. Visit ForThePeople.com. Morgan & Morgan. For the people. Come into Steak & Shake for hand-dipped milkshakes. Better yet, come into Steak & Shake for hand-dipped milkshakes at half price. During half price, happier hour. Weekdays, now 2 to 5 at Steak & Shake. The $4 menu at Steak & Shake, featuring handcrafted steak burgers. All beef footlongs and fresh guacamole made from scratch. The $4 menu where all meals are under $4 at Steak and Shake. Lextron has expanded weekend service to Keeneland. Convenient, safe, and drop off right up front without having to worry about parking. Visit Lextran.com slash Keeneland or call 253 info. There's nothing like making their day, except making sure their tomorrow is taken care of, too. Financial guidance while you're mastering life. From Chase, so you can. Hello, I'm Rob Romley, inviting WKYT-TV viewers on the vacation of your dreams, a land and cruise tour of Alaska, August 5th to the 18th. We'll stay near Denali National Park and watch for wildlife on a guided park tour. Our vacation includes Anchorage, Fairbanks, the White Pass, and Yukon Train, and a four-night Holland America cruise through Glacier Bay and the Inside Passage. For more information, call Holiday Vacations, 1-800-826-2266. Get WKYT news and weather updates on News Radio 630 WLAP. Right now, at the all-new Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram get up to $5,000 over Kelly Blue Book fair market value for any trade. During Ram Truck Month, new 2016 Ram Bighorn Crew Cap four-wheel drives are only $199 a month. Visit BigMSuperstore.com. And welcome back, everybody. Opening night here at Whitaker Bank Ballpark as the Legends take on the Lakewood Blue Claws, and the first pitch will be at 7.05. Two guys on this Legends team will be playing close to home. The top two pitchers from last season return, so everyone is optimistic and anxious to get this season started. I'm excited. We got an exciting group here. You know, we're a young, athletic group, and we got good team chemistry. We've been together for probably four or five days now going back to spring training and we got to play a little bit together there and we've played together with each other a lot anyways but we got good locker room chemistry going and we're excited to get out there and play against somebody else. 
And again, the first pitch out here at 7.05. You need to bring a jacket. It's going to be a little bit chilly. John Calipari may have his best recruiting class ever at the University of Kentucky. Tonight, Lee K. Howard focuses on a player who may be coming into the U.K. program flying a little bit under the radar. If there's such a thing as an underrated player in Kentucky's 2016 recruiting class, it's Sasha Kilvia Jones, a top 30 player in 2016 that would be considered top 10 in many other classes. He's a guy that um, not as heralded as, as some of these guys, and I think part of it is body well, hasn't always been physically ready um, to, to battle with, with some of these players, and I do think it's starting to fill out, and it's going to continue to fill out. Scout.com's Evan Daniels thinks Kilia Jones has a lot of tools to his game. I like his skill set, his, his mobility. Uh, he can drop in a hook shot. He can make a, uh, a face-up jump shot. I think the next step is adding to his strength and continuing to polish his game and, and just consistently playing hard. Playing hard is something the 6'11 forward is looking forward to. Uh, yeah, Kyle's been told us just uh, come in and work for everything. So it's all the same thing. So uh, you come in and fight for every inch, and uh, nothing's given to anybody there. So, and I really like that about it. So um, I'm really looking forward to that and just going in that battle. The Chapel Hill, North Carolina native describes himself as laid back off the court, but a competitor between the lines. Uh, somebody who's on the court is going to play really hard, uh, enjoy the game, have fun with it. At the same time, compete every every minute I'm on the court. And then off the court, you know, I'm, I like that fun and everything, you know, kind of a laid back guy. Uh, it's just, I just want to have a lot of fun out there. Lee K. Howard, WKYT. <laughs> All right, thank you, Lee K. Let's turn to football now. And Mark Stoops has some holes to fill on his defensive line. He has some experienced players coming back. Guys like Matt Elam, Reggie Ment, Courtney Miggins, and this season he has had a junior college transfer, Naquez Pringle. Offensive guard George Asafo Ajay goes against them in practice. Uh, the D-line comes off the ball. I'm not even going to lie. Like today, like I went against uh, Pringle, and he, he has a motor, and uh, Reggie definitely has a motor. Them, them boys are getting right. You know, Matt's hard to block. He's fast. Our D line is like really raw, and I think, you know, like Courtney Miggins already has the size like a Pharaoh. So it's just we just all got to get better. We have we have the look, we have everything. We just we just got to keep balling and getting better every day. All right, much more from Whitaker Bank Ballpark coming up in the next half hour. Stay with us.